So I thought I'd do a quick little video on this thing. This is one of these little tiny little keyboards you get in those tablet cases. So we've got a Samsung Galaxy Tab 4, which we've had for years. And it's got this little foldable case. And it's got this keyboard, which is normally on. And it's, it worked originally when we first got it. And then it's never worked since. It's just haven't charged up. You plug in the charge, nothing happens. doesn't charge up. And it's finally annoyed me enough to pull it apart. So it's been sitting there for years, not working. And I found that the keyboard, this is how you get the thing apart. You lift the keyboard up and it takes all the glue off from the bottom, right? So you've got this little flex here as well. So you get the keyboard out, and then that will still be attached by the flex. And then here's the circuit board, which is normally behind here, like this. And this is the little cover which goes over it. I pulled it off, pulled it all apart. Now let's try and get a little bit closer for you. Right, so that's little cover which normally goes over the top of it with little switches and stuff on it. That was a, as one unit with the circuit board, right? So it was assembled to this heat stake on. I've taken the heat stakes off, so I'll get it apart. And that normally sits in there about there, like that, okay? So you've got the USB socket. So you've got the USB socket on the end there, sticking out the end, so you can plug in your charger on the end. That's how it normally sits, obviously, inside the case. So once I've got the keyboard out, I was able to then sort of break all the glue holding this thing in and slide this out through this gap. And I was surprised to see how small this battery is, seeing as there's all this space in here, all down the end. I mean, you could have had a battery pack two or three times the size. I suppose there's no money in that, though, is there? So, <laughs> anyway, pulled it apart, and I started looking at the circuitry, trying to figure out what's going on. So, this spot here is the Bluetooth module. Here's a battery pack going on there. There was no battery voltage at all, it's zero volts. I put the charger onto it, well, I put my power supply onto it, directly onto the battery terminals to trigger it to do something. Put it on like 3 volts, 100 milliamps for you know, 5 seconds, something like that. I took it back off, me we measured the voltage and it was sitting at over 3 volts. So the battery obviously wasn't completely dead, it's got a little protection circuit on there somewhere, obviously. And um, just on the back there, and that is actually doing its job. So it actually cut the cell off when it got down to 3 volts. So the cell itself was salvageable. That's the first thing, because if the cell was no good, there's no point going any further. Unless you get a replacement, of course. So I think, okay, obviously it's not charging, because I had issues with the charging indicator, which is just here, has never ever lit up the whole time I've had it. So I thought, right, something must be wrong with the charge circuit. So let's actually have a close look at that. And that's sort of this end of the circuitry here. So obviously you've got the USB socket here, charging IC and stuff just here, because that comes straight off the main power, comes in, just that pin there, comes into that chip. And this little capacitor smoothing stuff over here, what have you. All right, so obviously that's like a voltage regulator or a charge controller or something like that. So I plug the micro USB in, probe to voltage right here at the input of that chip. There was no voltage, there was nothing there. I thought, well, that's interesting. So I looked a bit closer. And I looked really closely at this socket here, and I could see the pins on the back of that plug, ignore the glue everywhere, it's not, it's not flux, it's glue. The legs from those connections weren't actually soldered to the PCB. So I've soldered those on now, and now it actually charges. So I plug the power into this board now. We now have a charge LED, you see it? So it's never lit up, ever. So the problem was, the entire time I've had this thing, which is why it only lasted a short time before it died. Firstly, because the battery pack's so bloody small, the USB micro wasn't actually soldered onto the PCB. Only soldered on mechanically, not electrically. Great job, whoever made this thing. So that's now charging up the battery. I'm going to put it back together as best I can, and hopefully I can get it back together to a point where it actually works again. I hope it's worth the effort. It might not have been, but anyway, we've got it now. There you go, all back together. And hopefully working fine. It's at least charging now. That's the first. Check out the other videos down below. Subscribe if you're already subscribed. And become a Patreon if you want to help contribute to the channel. Catch you later.